Hey everyone, once again, we're here with Ayurveda and yoga therapist, uh, Corey Touche, and she's gonna share some tips on how to augment your diet and food during this pandemic with food that will specifically support immu your immune system's resilience. So thank you guys, um, I'm really excited to share. I just wanted to give um, our you know, New York and Bronx community some ways that you can really support yourself with your food since that's what we all have access to um, pretty easily. So with regard to the diet, we wanna make sure that we're favoring things that are bitter because this helps to clean our blood which would help to reduce any virus and bacterial load on the system. So foods like arugula, dandelion greens, um, dill, chard, rosemary, turnips. Um, these foods help to promote the flow of gastric juices and facilitate the release of metabolic waste that has accumulated from heavier foods um, and from a more stagnant type of lifestyle, which many of us are experiencing now with the, um, with the restrictions on leaving home. Um, foods should definitely be mostly cooked and warm <clears throat> and using spices such as ginger, black pepper, oregano, thyme, peppermint, cumin and coriander will further support your system and, and increase your resilience, um, keeping your immune system really, really strong. With specific, with, um, you know, being more specific to the respiratory support. So this COVID seems to attack our respiratory system. So making sure that you don't have any stagnation in the lymph. So even doing some gentle tapping on the lungs, um, making sure that you're getting some gentle movement, even if in your room, that just means that you jog in place a few times. Yoga offers us sun salutations, which are a sequence of postures that you can move through that really helps to move the lymph. Um, but more importantly, coming back to the food, incorporating foods like coconut flesh and coconut oil Garlic, onions, um, the cruciferous vegetables are all really supportive to our immune system. If you even think of like a broccoli, it looks like one of the lobes of the lungs. Um, again, fresh ginger, green tea, all of these in appropriate proportions, but they're a, a good thing to use as part of a balanced diet. Uh, and then also including your grains and legumes. And if you eat meat, of course, having that protein source. Um, I mentioned earlier a fantastic respiratory for keeping the respiratory and immune, immune strong, um, and that is for every eight ounces of water, putting in a half a teaspoon of ginger powder, cardamom powder, and coriander, and you can use seeds or fresh ginger, and you want to boil that for 10 minutes and then let it steep for a little bit, maybe five to 10 minutes, and then sip that throughout the day, and that will keep your respiratory strong, that will keep your um, immune system strong. Some other things that we want to do just to protect the respiratory system in general is to, if you've ever heard of neti potting, so you fill up um, a glass of water, warm water, with a good portion of salt, so again, eight ounces of water to one quarter teaspoon of salt, and not rock salt, this would be sea salt, and you pour that through the nose, and that helps to clean out the nasal passage, or just using like a saline nasal spray that will keep the nasal passage clear. And again, the gargling. Um, in the Ayurvedic text, these are the really old texts on Ayurveda, there is a, a thing that I just want to read to you about what we should be doing every day in terms of uh, in, in living in times of pandemic. Um, and that is that we're just being honest and truthful with ourselves and our friends, that we are living from a place of compassion so that we're, we're seeing this all over the world, but just continuing to see ourselves in each other, that we're, we're all one. Um, that yeah. we, we're, just that we're living um, righteously and in commune with everybody. In community. Thank in you. Community. Yeah. Thank you. Thank yeah, you. You're welcome. Thank you. All right, once again, uh, sharing uh, Ayurveda wisdom. That's uh, Ayurveda and yoga therapist, Kari Touche. For more on Kari, you can follow her at Ayurveda underscore four underscore the underscore people.